Hello, chess lovers. I have a very beautiful attacking game for you, played by Per Ofstad against Wolfgang Ullmann. The game was played in 1963 in Halle, which is a city in Germany. Ofstad started with e4 and e6 by Ullmann, French defense d4, d5, knight d2, Tarash variation, c5, e takes d5, queen takes d5, knight f3, c takes d4, now white develops the bishop with a tempo, kicking away the queen and then castles kingside, knight c6, well usually in this position black is playing knight f6, preventing any possible knight e4 moves, but instead after castling kingside we see knight c6, rook e1, actually placing the knight on e4 square with a tempo would have been better, but we see rook e1, a6, a4 preventing any possible counterplay on the queen side, queen c7. Well, instead of developing his pieces like knight f6 and then bishop e7 and then castling kingside, Wilman is making strange moves, queen c7, he's piddling around while his king is stuck in the center of the board, knight e4, bishop d7, knight takes d4, bishop e7, well actually castling queenside would have been better, but we see bishop e7, which allows this beautiful tactical shot, knight f5, sacrificing the knight and creating some dangerous threats. Black accepted the sacrifice, here comes knight d6, check, king f8, of course black can't capture on d6 because after queen takes d6, as you can see the bishop is pinned, black can't recapture, we see king f8, knight takes f7 simply, bishop e8, queen d5, while actually capturing on h8 is also playable, but we see queen d5, queen a5, Black is offering an exchange of queens, of course this is the best continuation, queen e6, now comes the knight, knight d4, trying to kick away the queen from this attacking square. And understanding that black's defense is actually impenetrable, Per Ofstad found the best continuation and placed the knight on g5 square, sacrificing the queen. But instead of accepting the queen's sacrifice, Wolfgang Ullmann captured on g5. He's going for a win, but actually knight takes e6 is the best choice. After which all white can do is to give a perpetual check. Of course, instead of king f8, black can't play king f6 because of this rook e6 check. Now if king f7, then rook e5 discover check, winning the queen, and white has a huge advantage, or after rook e6 check, if king g5, then knight h3 check, and then black king is getting checkmated, the threat is bishop g3 checkmate. Let's go back, but after knight g5 we see bishop takes g5, removing the knight and now already knight takes e6 is the threat, but it turns out that black missed a winning line by white, here comes queen d6 check, and after bishop e7, pair of stat made a move and black resigned, can you find his next move? Ready? In this position, pair of stud played rook takes e7 and Wolfgang Ullmann resigned because if a move like knight takes e7, now can you find the winning move for white? Ready? Actually, white can go for this brilliant queen sacrifice on f6. If g takes f6, then bishop h6, and we see this amazing Boden mate on the board. Look at this position. These bishops are just monsters. This is actually not a Boden mate, this is an X-ray mate. What a game. Thanks for watching and if you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave your comments. Good luck.